Hello everybody, I'm Matthew Osner and Slammer Hex and welcome back to another episode of the Manager of Legends Journeyman Save with me, Matthew, and our manager, Neil Brannan. Now before we get into today's episode, why don't you give this video a like? I know, a bit soon, but every like coming my way helps the channel get promoted to other people. You can also comment, that also helps. And if you are someone who's just found this channel out, subscribe to the channel because it doesn't cost you anything and hopefully you get content you enjoy. And hit the bell as well for mobile notifications so you never miss an upload. And while you're at it, why don't you check out my socials down in the description below. I know it's quite a lot, but hey, that's what I always do and that's what I always say. But yeah, last episode was the season ending with Napoli. Halfway through the season we of course drew Napoli. And now we have our first proper transfer window. Our main transfer window in summer. Where hopefully we sign a load of good players. Now unfortunately, uh, I can't for some reason show you the season with you. It literally doesn't let me show you it, like I can't click on anything or any of that stuff, it's just literally disappeared. So we're just going to have to skip that for this episode and this season, but yeah, we ended up finishing fifth in the league, and also ended up winning the Coppa Italia Frecciarossa. Frecciarossa? Frecciarossa? I don't know, I'll have to ask my friend who has uh, Italian heritage. Uh, but yeah, uh, winner of that, 5th place in the Europa League qualification in the league. And yeah, I actually think we're going to go, might be with a new tactic, whether it's going to be this one, this one, or another one I might think of, I'm not sure. But I'm just going to skip ahead and hopefully transfers come in and we don't sell too many people out because um, a bit last season... In January, we sold people like Paolo Lecca who could have got into our slide. Uh, we also sold Diogo Faria, who was like, our best player. So hopefully none of that happens again. And at le if it does, hopefully we at least bring people that are better than like Gaglio and uh, Figuera and Ezekiel. Um, because literally, they're not good enough for the starting team. So hopefully we get starting players if we do sell anyone. But skip ahead, see what happens. I am furious. Okay, first off, let's go with the board. Why well, I'm furious with them. Um, I have told them to improve the training facilities, junior coaching, youth crew, youth junior coaching again, youth crew again, training facilities again, as well as a couple of courses to people in that could get courses for like Continental A and Continental Pro. They've rejected every single one of them. Now the coaching courses are stupid, they're saying we haven't got enough, uh, it'll cause too much um, hassle for the other members of the coaching staff. That is a pure and really bad lie, because we have a load of spaces left, we can easily get and let someone else take over. Um, training youth facilities? And they're saying it's good enough for our level. Now, training facilities can understand youth facilities. I would say youth facilities aren't the level of a team like Napoli. And they're saying the same with youth crewmen. And they're saying the same with the junior coacher. Now, I reckon for a four and a half star club like Napoli, junior coaching and youth crewmen have to be exceptional. And they're saying it's good enough for their level. And then they're saying, don't. And then they say, well, I know I kind of ended up saying, kind of doing it all the single time, every single complaint I can do to try and get them to say yes, out apart from I will resign. And because I don't want to resign just yet, but it might be in the, in the bit that I might. Honestly, it depends on what happens in January. They have rejected every single one, and then they have the nerve to say, don't waste our time with stupid things like this. Oh my god, and just this border evil, and it's detrimental to Napoli. Now we go to transfers, and first off, let's look at our director of football, Christian Galli. He's good, judging player 
um, judging playability and potential 17 and negotiating of 17 so you assume he'll be very good and not really be wanting to sell the place his ratings four and a half star for his level of direct football level and all that stuff so you can assume he'll be good the direct football uh, if we go to what happened um, before the start of the season um, no one joined before the start of the season uh, and Delefeo who is in our first team plans you could say because considering you have like 15 subs in Italy um, he was loaned out to Fenerbahce with an optional feature fee of low or something like that then if we go to people that joined Ivan Moreno, he was already guaranteed from January, which was a pre-contract deal. He looks good, but not the good we are looking for. Matteo Bruno joins us as a youngster that oh, could probably never get good enough, and we ever paid for him. Philippe Garcia, another youngster that joined us on a free transfer from Anadia, and Ilan Jelinek another youngster that joined us on a free transfer from Rudez. So, as you can tell by that, there have been no signings. No proper player signings. We've got one player on free transfer, who is fringe player at best. Everyone else, all regular starters, no important players, no regular starters, no star players, no proper squad players. Just trash. So yeah, is trash. We let one player go in Canone. Um, more players went out on loans. I just realised that's not why it should be. Uh, Leke and Milic were let out on free transfers. I can't really see them how good they were. And I kind of forgot how good they were in the end. Um, more players were loaned out. Scacchiavelli could have been in our first team side. Yeah, he could have been in our first team side. Lorenzo Marchetto is just youngster. Um, Lino Mabala is a main choice player that could now go to Clermont on a cheap transfer. He's gone out on loan, he has like a cheap transfer fee of like 2 million or something, which I can see Clermont easily saying, Yeah, we'll do that because he's worth way more than that. He's worth 4 million, so I can see them easily saying, Yeah, we'll sell him for we'll sign him for that. Matteo La Monica was just a youngster, probably Pinedo was sold he was our backup striker um to Celta on the cheap lucas of Valauba, probably our main choice dm after the sale of foria or faria whatever his name was um in january last season um he was sold first offer that came our way Jared football said yeah you know what i'm gonna accept that could rise to 34 million from Atletico when I think it was worth more. Yi Sun, our best player by a mile. Uh, left back, irreplaceable. And we sell him for 47.5 million, rising 65 to Barcelona. Another loanee in Fnassi, I think as a transfer fee. Sternini, another good player sold to Juventus yet yeah, I admit that was a good transfer fee for him um, Longoni a youngster that could will look so so good 2 star current ability 5 star potential ability and we sell him for 1.5 million rising to 9.25 it's ridiculous um, Ravasi another player that could be in our first team gets sold, loaned out with a cheap loan sale and then just doing star. But we haven't replaced them. We have not replaced them. So if we go to the main side and we sort by ability, sure we still have good players like Prosaka and Sabo and Jarimba and Quinn and Stat, Stefanovic, Lara, and Morales. And then we have at least one good youngster in Antonio Di Martino. And then we have some more really in squad players that now have to be regular starters and then if we go further down because we haven't got enough space we're now having to play two star players in our team we're having to play one and a half star players in our team it's just so ridiculous and because of that we've had to have a change of tactic 
So because of the sales of all these players, I've decided to go with an OP tactic. I haven't used this tactic before, it's just something I've created, I don't even know how it'll go. Uh, well, it's, it went well in the preview in the pre-seasons because we won 4-0 and 5-0 but then we have they have been against these slides um but yeah it's got 4-4 4-2-3-1 advance forward advance playmaker two wingers on attack two single overlanties on attack two full backs on attack ball playing defenders on defense sweep keeper on support i hope to god this will go well because I fear for my job now because of this director of football and considering it's only the 6th of August it could get so much worse. Thankfully it's died out a bit, no one's joined since, la since last time which is bad but no one's left so that's good. In terms of the transfers it's somehow going well. Um, we actually drove the friendly against Inter then beat Milan. 2-1 um, in um, Serie A's opening game and Udinese we also won 4-1 so currently we're top of the league 6 points though other teams have only played once so hopefully they all draw or lose and yeah we'll end up having 6 points when everyone else will have either 4 or 3 who knows I just hope towards the end of this season uh, towards the end of this transfer window, it will not get worse. Please, please don't get worse. It got worse. It got worse. No one joined for the rest of the transfer window. So in terms of what the only actual first team ready player was Ivan Moreno, who was transfer was guaranteed from December, uh, from January last year, that last season. In terms of the loanees, Paglia was loaned out, Pellicino was loaned out, Figueroa was loaned out, uh, Negroni was loaned out, uh, Mattia Costa was loaned out, Ismail Fagus, uh, Vegas, or Fagus, um, he was a first team ready player, he's been loaned out to St Etienne with a small release uh, optional future fee so yeah he's probably going if St Etienne decides to figure out Dominic Habas another player that could be in the first side he's been loaned out to Adon and Demis Spore uh, with a small future uh, small optional fee Paul Ezekiel um, who was in the end could be in the first team plans he's been loaned out uh, Macho Machochi or Macho um, Mazochi Machochi, I don't know where I got Machochi from. Mazochi, um, another youngster loaned out, and Abel Moreno, another player that was in our first team plans, loaned out to Ren with a small optional future fee. Oh boy. Somehow though, the results are going well. So since last time, we beat Monza 2 0. And drew 2 2 with Bologna. And currently, though not first, we're third in the league. 10 points. Um, Torino are having a bombing start of the season, or barnstorm, or whatever you say, at the start of the season. Uh, Inter are doing well, but they always do well. Um, they've got Jurgen Klopp in charge. Um, I think the one last year, maybe. Yeah, they've won the past two since Jurgen Klopp. Well, they've won every single one apart from Atlanta winning one and Napoli winning one. And Klopp's been in charge of the past two seasons and he's won every single thing he can apart from what we won last year. We've been drawn in the Europa League. Um, we've got Pauk, Anderlecht, Newcastle, Man City, Brighton, AZ, Milan, CS Maritimo and Ludogorets. Ludogratz, I think. Um, so yeah, some easy, some hard. Got quite a few Premier League signs that are going to be tough. So we might not qualify in the top eight. Might have to be through the playoff round. But I'm just so disappointed in this direct football. I am so disappointed in this board. It is just awful. And if you're somehow enjoying my misery, give this video a like. Because boy, do I need these likes, not for the channel, but
but for my own sanity and my mood. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more FM24 content, hit the bell as well for mobile notifications so you never miss an upload. You can comment a comment saying boy oh this director was awful or boy this board is awful and I'll probably like it to as many likes as I can give it which is mind you only one but I'll try and maybe do a little bot form just to like your video, your comment because I want the board to know. <laughs> I know that it's just the game, but just like, my God, it's just so annoying. Um, so yeah, comment in the comment, and yeah, check out my socials down in the description below. But I've been Matthew, also known as Summer Hex, and I'll see you all next time. Hex signing out. Bye, everybody. Boy, oh boy. <laughs>